What's up, family? Welcome back to UTL TV. And today, listen, right? <clears throat> Y'all know I had to go do some research. I had to go do some digging, man. And I had to go figure out exactly the inception point and where this double-headed eagle actually came from. Now, y'all know, we all know that it's connected to the Black nobility and it's connected to all of these different Canaanite nationalities, these different Canaanite species, races, or groups, whatever you want to call them, right? Now, we know this. That's why you can see this coat of arms, this seal on all of these different European Canaanite um, states, like the Armenians, uh, the Italians use it, the... Uh, um, the Jewish people use it. Um, all of these different places use this seal, right? And like I was telling y'all, this seal is um, a connection to the Black nobility. And the Black nobility is these draconian archons, which are half Anunnaki. You feel me? Anunnaki, draconian mix, right? Now, I got to... Um, Matter of fact, we're going to start right here because I got a few videos, a few, um, I got a video I want to put y'all up on point, but before we even tap in there, right, as you can see here, right, this is a picture of, uh, Ninurtu, right? This is the son of Enlil, right? And as you can see right here, this is the double-headed eagle. Right, this is Murdoch. This is the, the Marduk. This is him, the evil one. This is yeah. So as you can see right here, this is the double-headed eagle. That's why you can see, and we know that these Canaanites, these uh, Jews, these people that they show veneration and credence to these evil Anunnaki. And not only them, all of these people that's involved in the Illuminati, Black nobility, all of that. Why you think on that song that Travis Scott, who was that at the end of that song? Was that MIA? Who was that when she was like, um, um, bangers in this, just bang, bangers in this, that ancient Anunnaki? they talking about Enlil, Halal, Sharin, these, these ancient Mother Hoover, um, <clears throat> um, uh, who else? Uh, it's a few, it's, it's, it's. Come on, Anana. Um, they talking about these, basically these disagreeable uh, Anunnaki, bro. These ancient disagreeables. When they when she said that this that ancient Anunnaki, like she talking about these. That's why you see them showing uh, veneration to that double headed eagle that you see, and you see it all over the place. All of these different countries have the eagle have the black bird you know what i'm saying but we're gonna jump into this video which kind of um explains a little bit on it i found it but it, it goes into a little bit of what i'm trying to uh, let's go all right of the anunnaki in mesopotamian religion was the chief god of the city of babylon and the national God of Babylonia. He was eventually called Bel or Lord. Yep. Originally, he seems. Yep. That's why you can see, right? You see, he said he's uh, also known as Bel or Lord. And we know Bel is basically that's this pan. You feel me? Satan, whoever you want to call him. You feel me? That's Baal right there. Hold on. We're going to get to. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. Uh -huh, quick. Yeah, see, ball, that's ball, Moloch. You feel what I'm saying? That's who they're talking about right here. This is the one who takes the sacrifices for the kids. And you see, he had the wings and all of that. But let's go. Still a thing, see what he said. God of thunderstorms. No different from Shu too. Yeah, see the god of thunder and storm that's zeus that's why they say zeus yahweh enlil baal moloch all the same being bro the wind daemon the right hand 
of Anu, as an Anu, his father, called him from his birth, who provides grazing and drinking places, enriches the store. Referring to the Anunnaki, the water in question here would be tears. Marduk, who, with the floodstorm weapon, vanquished the detractors. Mm-hmm. See? Yeah, yeah. Marduk, which is Enlil, is the ones that uh, flooded the earth at the beginning. And who, the gods, his fathers, rescued from distress. Truly, the son of the sun, the most radiant of the gods. In his... That's Baal, Enlil, Moloch, Marduk, whatever you want to call him. That's who you're sowing veneration and credence to when you talking about God and you feel what I'm saying? In that Bible, that's who that is. It's brilliant light. May they walk forever. So he tricked you. On the people he brought forth, endowed with life. Yes, this would be necromancy, raising the dead, the gift of immortality, of course, with a twist. The service of the gods he imposed, that these may have ease, creation, destruction, deliverance, and grace shall be by his command. They, them, shall look up to him. Let me arrange that for you. The Anunnaki were imposed upon humanity in a graceful form so that they can deliver destruction. I've stated many times that this creature serves the gods, not man, and undeniably the gods serve the creature. Mm -hmm. Facts. According Facts. to the complex poetic wording, Marduk is powerful, both good and evil. Mm -hmm. Marduk is a demon who has been given human form in order to disguise itself before and you can see he got a watch on and all of that like all of this stuff he got a necklace on they've been had all of this stuff they've been made watches phones and everything i right? give you the meanings of marduk let me inform you that zoo took the role of bell zoo is replaced by er ER is replaced by Marduk. Mm. And then Marduk is simply known as Bell. Mm. The Ouroboros, the dragon eating its tail. Oh. Wow. Zu is the hidden one. They do not speak his name. That's why you would never hear him speaking of Enlil or, or speaking of any, you know what I'm saying? They keep that very on the hush. The dragon Mushusu, Marduk's dragon, alternatively named Anzu, is Marduk's totem, Marduk's foundation stone, meaning Marduk is the dragon, the lion, and the eagle, mm. now depicted in human form. In fact, okay, so it says Marduk is the lion, the eagle. You feel me? And the dragon. Presenting a possessing spirit. Hold on. It says, uh, Julius devoted to Job, Lion, Eagle, Zeus. Okay, I got the, the lion, eagle. Okay, mixed her, like a griffin, basically. The dragon, the lion, and the eagle. The griffin. Latin, griffos. From Greek, grips. Gripos, relate grips, gripos, grip. Okay, so he telling us how the griffin is the lion and the it's all basically bioengineered together. You feel me? The griffin, the lion, and the uh dragon. And the griffins, the griffos, is actually come from Greek etymology. 
translated to the Hebrew. We know it. We know the Greeks are the ones, the Jews. They the Jew. They the Canaanite. They the ones that stole the edu- all of the stuff from Kemet. You know what I'm saying? Which would be the origin for the word angel. The Babylonian cherub, the angel, the messenger of God. This would be the grip of evil. So it said griffin, Latin for griffus from ancient Greek. Granitive grips, grippos related to Hebrew cherubim. The mixed creature that appears similar to the griffin in Sumerian law are called lion griffins and Anzu appears to be their forerunner. Anzu, hold on, say Anzu, terror bird, a creature who more than likely stole children in the night, also used as a cover, a cloak, if you will. Reason, you know, fear and theft. So I could see, okay, okay, okay. So these are, he's basically saying like they use these different type of avatars of different creatures and they were some earth wreaking havoc without showing their true form. But this shit crazy. Ansu would also be the phoenix rising from the ashes, which means from the curse. Mm. Anzu appears. Because the ashes, the curse is because they was cursed without melanin. The Canaanites was cursed without melanin. Just like the Pleiadians, the Aldebarans, Procon, they, well, the Pleiadians, the Aldebarans, Procon, they actually, they stars, they stars was burnt out. They suns ended up getting knocked out of them. So they wasn't able to get as much melanin and that, pers- that created tyrosine, which made their hair blind. These people were cursed with leprosy. Like I said in the Bible, the Canaanites and shit like that, they was cursed with leprosy. So they weren't able to uh, receive the, the carbon and the, the um, metaphysical biological properties that they needed in order to live sufficiently on this realm. If y'all get what the fuck I just said. But yeah, it's from the ashes. It's like Ashtar Command. Uh, Ishtar, Ashtar is because of the, the sun had burnt, turned into ash. It had burnt out. That's why it named its name Ashtar. And Ishtar named Queen Inanna, Esther, Isis, she changed her name to Ishtar when she joined forces and started messing with Ashtar Command, Shinran, the Pleiadians, and shit like that. Let's From go. the Akkadian period, 2340 BC to the beginning of the Neo-Babylonian Empire, 626 BC. The griffin appears to be a symbol of evil and chaos. Okay. This creature is the entity that elevates Marduk to a higher status, the foundation stone. In the Enuma Elish, there are eight tablets, not seven. The precursor, the first tablet, the zoo tablet, the wisdom tablet, which is completely ignored by scholars, paves the way for Marduk to ascend to the position of the supreme god Mm. in order to take the role of Bell from zoo. Mm. And this would be the reason Marduk has bird form. Mm, it says zoo was cursed with bird form. The demons were put to flight like a dove. Because that is the price for stealing the role of God, which Marduk has conducted. They so say bird form was like a curse. In the role of zoo. The fact is that Marduk is the weapon, the great deception. But Bell is also a deception. Ab- mm-hmm. You see that statue? That statue looked just like. Hold on, where, hold on, let me see. Yeah, that statue looked just like 
This one right here. Definitely ball worship, bro. Definitely Babylonian. Yeah, that's Enlil, ball, Molot. You can see that right here in the Masonic shit. You see ball right here. Yep, right here. Pay attention. Quantum area of matter. You see, they be into the quantum physics and the science and all of that, man. Yep, that's where they get the personification of this bird. This is this bird is a representation of the church and the state. You feel me? This is the church and the state. This is how they galvanize the energy. This is how they subjugate the people on the land. This is the Lord of the sky. Who else is the Lord of the sky? That's Enlil, right? The sky guy. All of this stuff is connected. Enlil, Moloch, body, all connected to the Draconian, to the all of that. That's why you got the blue cross, blue shield. You see the red, red cross. They are. They want the blood, so they can take your blood and give it off to the yeah to these draconian archons who's subjugating the people on the land come on man all of this stuff goes in synergy all of it works in synergy together man all of it everything hold on let's go back over here So is the personification of the watery abyss and the house of knowledge is their supreme god, Abzu, an obscure figure who was merged with Tiawath, but yet again, Ab means lion. And the word Tia can also mean lion. Wa from Huawa the Terrible the lion faced terror is cognate with pi meaning division and the th means split asunder mm. the name does not refer to the mother goddess it refers to what happened to her meaning that tiawath is tiamat the dragon of chaos and one of the darksome trinity and that would be the difference between Tiawath and Tiamat. Tiamat is the darksome trinity. Within Tiamat are Mamu and Abzu. And within Marduk, we have the names Mamu and Anzu. So it's, he breaking down Tiamat. Tiawath was merged with Abzu becoming Tiamat. Abzu, Mamu, then they were separated for the pantheon. Tiamat, Abzu, Mamu. This is how demons are born. In the minds of the people, the goddess has been defeated, but in reality, divided. Mm. Demonized and left behind, the dragon defeats itself. So the worship of Baal does not end in Babylon. Baal is represented in Greek as Belos and in Latin Belos. Belos has 50 daughters. Bel Marduk has 50 names. And within the English Bell, we are told, but do we listen? Told you. Bell, a unit for comparing two power levels equal to the logarithm to the base 10 of the ratio of the two powers and that would be split asunder oh 
Okay, it's saying mathematics, the logarithm is this inverse function to exponentation teaching in quantity to the power of another. It's crazy. The watchers are to pray for you and not you for them. What did Enoch say about the watchers? And similar to them, the watchers are those who went down as prisoners in their train who are in the second heaven and we were imprisoned in great darkness. When Enoch himself addresses the watchers, he tells them that he saw their brothers and prayed for them. The meaning of Marduk, officially meaning the bull calf of O2, and that would be why he is the son of the sun. That would also mean he is the grandson of Sen, Lord Zhu. Mm. The second son, yeah. The scribes are known to have merged O2 within Ishtar in order to give birth to the savior of the gods. This would be how Zhu, the knowledge of demons, was born. I was just telling y'all about um, Ishtar. I was just telling y'all about Ishtar, right? And then, um, uh, what's her name? Um, Ice Spice, her name is Isis. Her real name is Isis, right? And she actually lines up numerically with Ishtar, Anana, all of that shit, you feel me? And we know that um, Ishtar, Anana, Esther, uh, Isis, whatever you want to call it, a lot of these guys have about 20 different names. Uh, she was, she promotes sex and that's what she, she created the love and the sex and the lust and all of that. So her energy is definitely on the planet. She definitely, like I was telling y'all, she joined forces with Astar Command that was, you know what I'm saying, doing her big one. And she actually had like 200 daughters that came down here. Them is the light-skinned with the red hair because they're like mixed beings. But yeah, y'all see that in the last video, bro. That's, that's a whole nother video. Y'all should check that out. But Ishtar is disagreeable. Why? And what is their purpose? We are told it is biblical. Marduk Joculare. This may sound familiar. Marduk also meaning bitter oppression, your rebellion, downfall, subdual. Sub this is why we need to be careful. Our bitter oppression. He said Marduk equals sub, uh, stand for subdual. Uh, uh, oppressed downfall like lead to rebellion which leads to downfall and subdual a great reset resetting the mind all the serpents are gone the words will change and they will simply be renamed the etymology of Marduk in Hebrew the name might be meant as a combination of the prefix, meaning place of, or instrument, or instrument of. of. For example, For example instrument, instrument of the gods, of a way plus yeah. an expression of the root, RDK. Rd. Unfortunately, the root does not exist in the Hebrew of the Bible, and there is no telling whether it existed, and if it did, what it meant i'll be the judge of that r d k akkadian r arabic aram translated as high or elevated marduk may derive from the verb marad meaning to be rebellious or to revolt The final calf could be ascribed to a second person feminine. In Babylon is a she, 
a singular prominent suffix, and the whole combination might mean you rebel or your rebellion. Rebel lion. Mm. Mm. Rebellion. Re bell. Re is to repeat. Bell lion is Marduk. So it's like to rebring, to reincarnate, to bring back. This shit is wild, bro. This shit wild. Bro went down through there and broke down all the etymology to this shit. Like he called with it. Y'all can definitely go check that video out, but all of this stuff equates to the same gods, man. The blue cross, blue shield, all of that is equated to it all works together. As you can see that eagle, you feel me? It's, it works in synergy with all of this. You can see both got the, the, uh, the unk on his head. That's an Anunnaki. That's a disagreeable ancient Anunnaki right there. You think he got the unk on his head for no reason? He's an Anunnaki. Head shaped like an Anunnaki with my arms out. I'm an unk sign. You know what I'm saying? That's black people. That's a black shit. You see me, you see the red cross, the blue shield. You see the, the evil draconian. You see they got the, come on, man. That's This is the black nobility. Because the black nobility is behind the white face. They just showing you the white people. But it's really these evil, disagreeable Anunnaki Nephilim behind this shit. You feel, that's why you see the, the you see, you're gonna, you see it everywhere. You see Pan. Y'all see Pan, he came down with the, and you see, when you see Pan, you see Pan, he always playing. Pan always playing some music, bro. He stay on it. Come on, man. You see that seal everywhere. The sky is right. You see uh, MGK even had the bird on his uh, shit. You see it with the swastika in the middle. Come on, man. You see it with the evil, the, the, the satanic star. You feel me? It's 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 in your face. Look, look at this shit. Then you see these masons, they get to walk down the aisle with kids. It's, this shit is wicked out here. It's getting wicked, I'm telling you. But as you can see though, this has been you see Pan, he's still playing the music. That's just what he do. Just like a lot of his followers. They come down here, they use the music as frequencies to, to subjugate us and, and mentally fuck with us. But yeah, man, I had to get on here and 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 bring y'all the inception point with these uh with these uh with this double-headed eagle. Y'all see, y'all see ball, he got the eagle right here in his hand, holding it. Yeah. Because the eagle is the lord of the sky. Who's the lord of the sky? That's Inlet. Look at Gunner showing veneration to ancient Anunnaki's. Like this should be, this should be right in our face, bro. But yeah, man, I ha I had to come on here and break this down because I'm like shit. Like these people, and as you can see, like. As you can see, the bull, bull guy, the rebit, the, the the bull with the bird. And that's my, that's Baphomet. Pay attention. You can see, look, look at Post Malone. He just loving it. All of these people be involved in it, man. <laughs> All of these people be involved in this shit. We are surrounded by sellouts. But I just had to come on here and break that down, man. This. This uh bird, that double-headed eagle been around. You see it's on the dollar bill. It's all the coat of arms. You know, that's the personification of the black nobility. Why you think you seen Drake with it on? You seen Kanye with it on. I was just breaking it down to y'all. Pay attention, man. This shit, they you would be able to place these people in, and and be able to connect them all together. Cause they all connected, man. That's facts. But y'all make sure y'all hit that like button because y'all don't be hitting like button. Y'all be leaving me hanging like I'm dropping bullshit. I'm giving y'all the tea and I'm the breadcrumbs leading right back to the evidence. But yeah, man, y'all make sure y'all hit that like, hit that subscribe, and 
we gonna be back in here, man. We dropping. We we back to back, back to back. You feel me? I think I'm gonna do a reaction to some of that Cambada because he be speaking some high power shit, bro. Like it's crazy. But y'all make sure y'all hit the like button. Don't leave me hanging. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe. Drop a comment. Get me in the algorithm. Peace, love, and respect. UTL TV. I'm on.